Oh, you know what I haven't got? Water. Hello. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, I'm just mute myself. Welcome back to the Great International Craft Show online uh, for day one with some fabulous show specials happening today. We have got lots and lots happening and thank you very much to everyone for tuning in on my three other live Facebooks from today. You'll find uh, two of them up on YouTube already or you can scroll back down through the Facebook page and um, and go back and watch them to see what we are, what I've been doing. Uh, but today I'm going to do a little art journal page here, something a little bit painty, using the Art by Marlene paints, which I don't have in front of me. All right, now I do. All right, so what, sorry. Well, I didn't leave much gap between the last live and this live, so I'm a bit, you know, flustered. Uh, so we have... There we go, I'll do that one and I'll do that one after. Um, so we've got lots of things on special today. <laughs> um, and we have got Christmas things, alcohol inks, washi tape, and all of the paper collections are 15% off for today. We have a massive clearance section, which is a minimum of 30% off. We have got single tubes of Art by Marlene paints, and they are discounted down to $7.50. We have got alcohol ink, I said that. Oh, uh, Art by Marlene Lucky Dip, if we have any of those left, they are $36 and they have a value of 60 bucks. And we have embellishment bundles, tag and stencil bundles. Uh, we have got a daily prize drawer tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Everyone who placed an order today will go in the drawer to win a prize. It will probably be, I don't know. Actually, you know what I might do? I might give away one of my new Natalie May scrapbooking stamp sets. How does that sound? That sounds amazing. That's a good idea. Let's stick that in the back of the head for later. Alrighty, so um, plenty of things going on. There is the no judgment postage special happening as well, which what that means is you get great postage special. $12.50 for your first order, then every order after that is uh, you can put in as no judgment at the checkout and you will get that. Uh, we bundle them all together and post them out next week. So you can continue to build on your order, take advantage of tomorrow's special, which is going to be very, very good. Very, very good. Very good. And then Sunday special as well, which is also damn awesome. All right, so let's do an art journal page. I am working in my Art by Marlene art journal. This is the art journal that is, I don't know what size that is. Where's a ruler? The pages are oh, in centimeters, 17 by 24 centimeters so they're a really nice size page and they're in a binder so you can pull the pages out um, I've created some this is a page that I've done previous previously on a live Facebook uh, so you can do all sorts of bits and pieces in this this is an excellent journal for creating in so um, comes with a pre-colored cover or this one here is the Janine's Mindful Collection by Studio Light as well. This is another one that is a really good size. In fact, I do believe it is the same size paper. But what I like about this one is it's got this wrap around that I can also color. All right, so it has a Velcro clasp. And it has the same size pages as this one. Oh, there might be a millimeter in it difference, but excellent. And it's like a heavy duty sort of 
mixed media watercolor sort of paper. I'm not going to say that it is watercolor paper because it does not say on here that it is, but it's a really good all round sort of paper. So they are available online um, on our on the website under art journals. Alrighty, so here's my page. I have got some sticky tape, pretty sticky tape, because you know, it's pretty. And I have stuck my pages together so that I have got one piece and then I peel that tape off. Um, okay, I'm going to drink my coffee. Rightio, so what I thought I might do is a bit of a rainbow sort of page, get some colour on the back, add some stenciling. Um, I've got my gel plate here, I might do some stamping with the gel plate. And I'm going to use the Art by Marlene paint paints. So this is what, this is the colour range that is available. What do we think? Pretty damn great. Um, so this is, I did a little bit of a swatch of these paints not all that long ago and I really, really quite like them. I like the, the bottles that they come in. I like that I can, um, I can draw with them as well. So you'll notice on here that it's got that little bit of dimension and it has held its shape. I don't know, can't really. Yeah, you can see it. There you go. So it has held, it's held their shape. And that's really, really cool. Um, the other thing that you can do with them is this. So you can draw with your nozzles as well. Um, I do love these paints. With any, like anything with a small tube like this, they do block up. But what I have got is I've got a safety pin handy and I will just unblock any paints that I need to with a safety pin. Keeping it simple. All right, so I'm going to do a bit of a rainbow sort of page. So let's go with pink. Not that colour. Or maybe it is that colour. Um, no, here we go. We have got ballet. I'll do this lovely colour here, which is mermaid. I'm going to do a nice bright yellow. I might do this green. So you can buy these paints in a set or you can buy them as individual individual tubes. I really like having them as individual tubes so then I can choose the colours that I want to and go from there. So um, I want to have one more colour. What's it going to be? It's going to be orange. It's going to be hot curry. Right, first thing I do, want to do before I start is I'm going to get some paper towel and I'm going to make sure that they are all unblocked and easy to use. So because I have been using these and having a play with them, that, that one's okay, that one works just fine. And this is a really good way to swatch your colours as well. And I'm just doing it on a piece of paper towel. So this one here has blocked up. Um, Louise, yeah. are you on Facebook at the moment? No. Would you just jump onto the live that I'm doing? And the lovely Robin Oxley has just asked a question. Um, would you just be able to answer that for her, please, love? Just hit reply and make that magic happen. All right. Come on. Come on. Unblock. There we go. Just needed a moment. So I'm just gonna take the lids off at the same time. Hot curry, let's check this baby out. There we go, that's a really nice orange. Lovely and vibrant. Thanks Lucy, how are you my love? Sharing my beautiful ideas. Oh look, that's what we do here babe. So I'm thinking that I also want to use this green, which is blocked, clean my safety pin. So I just do this before I use them. Um, it's one of those things that it's got like a multi-use having this really fine tip like this. But yes, it does block up just that little bit easier. Whoops. All right. And that's actually really good because that's the order that I'm going to do this in. Uh, 
Um, I'm just wondering, Lou, about um, if we can still get it. Are they from yeah, they are, and she might just need a phone call. Mm, me too. All right, I'll get back to you on that, Robin. Louise has written a note about the large paper trimmers and I'll see if we can still get them for you, sweetheart. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to do a bit of a rainbow sort of page. I'm going to do something a little bit messy and swipey. Uh, I'm going to pop some paper towel down underneath because I want to go over the edges of my page and make a bit of a mess here. Bit of paper towel. What would we do without paper towel, hey? Right, now I've forgotten the colours I was going to do. I was going to start with green, wasn't I? Green, blue, pink. All right, let's stop thinking about this and get it down. So I'm just squeezing my paint on and I'm going to grab a... I'm going to use my catalyst tool, my, my, my palette knife. And get it down, get it on there. completely cover my page. Now being acrylic paint, um, it won't take long to dry, which is really good. And I can layer colors on top of each other. I can get in with my fingers and blend it out if I need to. So I'm gonna go in with some orange now. And I'm doing an area that is a couple of, oh, I don't know, a couple of inches wide and just swiping it a bit, swiping it on, swiping it off like this. And I'm going to come back and I can build on this as well. I'm going to get these colours down first. That one just doesn't want to stay unblocked. These, um, these paints are fantastic if you are travelling as well. Way, hello pink. Um, because you'll be able to pop them in a, in a, a pencil case just take your essential colours with you and just use, you know, have what you need handy. And I think that that's what's really, really clever about this. Blue next. So I have put a little bit of gesso on my background here so that uh, I can, if I decide I want to stencil over the top, I can. Now I have left area there for one more colour. Like I said, I am going to go back in a minute and, and intensify these, because at the moment I'm just making them a little bit streaky with my palette knife going up and down. So this is one of my, my go-to tools that I use all the time. It is called a catalyst tool and you'll find it in the tools section. And what I like is that it is a flexible tool that you can bend, bend around. Um, I might pop a bit of a dark teal on the end here. And I'm going to mix that with a bit of green. Oops, I'll take that lid off. That's a beautiful colour. Alright, so I've got a bit of a base down to start with. What I want to do is I want to grab a paintbrush now and I'm going to go back and I'm going to fill these gaps. Uh, what sort of a paintbrush am I going to use? I'm just going to grab this one. This one looks great. So I'm going to go back here and we'll start with my yellow. And I'm after something really, really loose. So, and now you'll notice also it was a dry paintbrush. I really want to, wanted to use something dry. I don't want to have anything too wet because I want it to dry really, really quickly. You guys have got better things to do than watch me uh, try and dry paint all afternoon. Spread that out a little bit more. I can overlap it, pushing those colors together. Like so. Hello, Leslie. Welcome. You've just got home. Oh, well, guess what, darling? You haven't really missed anything. It's been kind of quiet around here today. 
And the good thing is, Leslie, is you can go back and you can watch all the videos that I have been shooting and you can watch them over the weekend at your leisure. I'm going to pop some pink on now and layer up as I go, pushing those colours. And you'll notice I haven't washed my brush yet and that's okay because I'm not mixing colours together that are going to muddy up. Yes, that's okay, Carrie ann Carrie ann saying that she, some of us don't have anything better to do today. That's ridiculous. I'm sure you've all got amazing things to do today, but you're choosing to spend your day with me instead. I'm just rinsing out my paintbrush, and uh, before I put paint on it again, I'm going to squeeze all the water out of my brush so that it is not wet. See how easy these tubes are to use? Just squeeze it on and you're done. And it's got great coverage too. I do love this coverage of this paint. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the specials that we've got going on at the moment are only for today. All right, so if you're holding off thinking, oh, look, I'll, I'll get some Christmas paper, I'll get some, get some pattern papers tomorrow, or I'll, I'll add to my order tomorrow. You know what? If the product's gone, it's not coming back into stock, guys. So the more you hesitate, the longer it's going to take to, uh, well, you're probably going to miss out. So we don't really want you to miss out. Um, but yeah, you don't really want to hesitate, okay? All right, so let's bring this up to camera and I will show you how it looks. It's got a little sheen on it, but it's actually like a pretty sort of matte finish. So we're just going there with some simple layered sort of stripes. Now, while this is drying, because I just don't want to use my heat gun just yet, I'm going to pop my lids on and Green goes on there, pink goes on, of course, the one I didn't pick up. Now, you can also get a stand for these paints as well. It's an MDF stand um, made out of, well, sorry, plywood, I think it is, stand um, for, you to, for you to stand up on your desk. The stand... Um, you can get a stand that holds 24 paints and I think I think there is a cup is there another size that we have in stock yeah, 36. a 36 stand that we have in stock as well and they're, they're and they're quite inexpensive Louise tells me all right so I'm just going to quickly going to dry that off because I now want to add a little bit of I want to add some What am I going to add? Black or white? I might add white first. All right, so to do the white, what I would like to do is I would like to stamp with my gel press. So for those of you who don't know, this is a gel press. This is a, a fantastic product. It's soft, it's flexible. It's a bit like jelly. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. But it's a print making item so what happens is i'm just going to leave it sitting here just for camera purposes um, and i'm going to use it to put paint on my stencil all right so this is one of the new natalie may scrapbooking stencils that have just been released now just a note um, although stencils are not on special and stamps are not on special today, um, any of the Natalie May scrapbooking products will not be going on special. Okay, so if you add them to your order today, it will still be the same price tomorrow. It will still be the same price on Sunday. They will not be discounted at all. All right, so I'm putting oh, a lot of paint on my gel plate. And I'm going to use a brayer to roll that out. So now it has rolled it out like that. 
I'm going to put my stencil onto here. And I need a scrap piece of paper. Hold that. Oh. scrap piece of paper that'll do so it's just I'm just pushing this down for texture and now I'm going to pick it up and put it straight onto here and it's created this little bit of texture so now I can use my stencil as a stamp and get a really awesome impression. I can roll this out again. Put it down. And it's given me, and I'll bring it up to camera to show you, this really lovely scribbly sort of effect. Nice and soft, nothing over complicated and technical, just enough. Now I've got this here and I'm just gonna let that dry on there and just going to, maybe I'll clean that with a baby wipe. Just that one time. I don't mind that that paint's drying on there because I'll be able to uh, get in there and make something else fabulous out of that. But a gel print is fantastic for creating backgrounds. All right, a gel press, sorry. All right, so now I've done that, I want to add some black because black and white makes gives dimension and it's going to create something that gives it a little bit of a, a lift. So I've got my Art by Marlene Peach, which is the name of it. Make sure it squeezes out, nope. Hey, behind you, Lou, is my tear off paint palette. Would you be able to swing that this way for me, please, love? Thanks. Right, so this is the Gridlock stencil, uh, another Natalie May scrapbooking design, and I'm going to be using the black paint and a blending tool to add some color, some depth to my project. So, getting my domed blending sponge and I'm going to start over on this side and I'm going to go across and dab on this paint. Focusing on the edges and I'm not looking for perfection, I'm looking for a real sort of rough coverage because I want it to look, you know, a bit rough and ready. Now, while that is still wet, I'm gonna tip that over and transfer some of the paint on the stencil to my background. Now, the lines don't really, the, the stencil's not designed to join up, but it's just a simple grid so it won't be too much to join up some areas. And I have a thirsty sponge, so I've got some more paint straight on. So I do like the domed blending sponge because the domed blending sponge will kind of get into some of those gaps a little bit more. Louise, would you pop some water into that for me, please, sweetheart? Yeah. Sorry, I meant to do that before. 
and then this one I'm going to do this corner and then I'm going to use my water spray that Lou's just filling up for me to wet some of this paint. I've got a fan going in here because it's been a bit muggy in here today and I had a little ventilation issue with um, alcohol inks on the last one. Um, so I need to activate that. So if I spray that water, thanks doll, if I just activate that, spray it, and now if it's not, there we go. So now I get a little bit more of a, a blacker impression. I could almost do the same thing with my gel press and use that as like a stamp pad, that'll work. I'm gonna pop some across the bottom now, but I'm not gonna go up as high. because I'm going to, in a minute, add some stamping across that bottom with my new stamps. But I can go up the sides and try and connect it up a bit, okay? So I'm getting something here that's a little bit interesting. This bit here annoys me. You can have it, you know, visually you can look at it and see yeah, there's a gap here that, that is filled. It kind of goes up and it goes down. So easy thing to do. Let's just build in a little shading in here. Better. While I have black on my sponge, I'm going to get in here and dirty up my edges. Okay. Now this little technique that I'm doing here, this sort of style of art journal is not at all original. There has been people creating with this stripey sort of rainbow color wheel sort of situation for years and years. I've done pages like this in watercolors. I've done pages like this in drippy paints, all sorts of things, but it's a really fun and easy way. I've possibly even done it before on a live Facebook, but what I love is that it looks different every single time and that's really, really cool. All right, so this is my hand-drawn leaves stamp set. So they are a red rubber stamp set and they are, I love them, I love them, love them, love them. Um, they come as a solid piece of red rubber and you do need to cut them yourself. I have a tutorial up on um, YouTube and on my Facebook group on how to cut these. So um, when you receive your set in the post, because you're buying them today, you will need to go in and see how to cut them. Oh, love. And I'm actually going to, I, you see I've gone up, you know, a fat finger width, right? I'm actually going to get a pen and hand draw that down into there in a minute. Okay, so that's why I've put this across the bottom. I want those leafy bits showing Love it. Look at that. I love them so much. I'm even cleaning my stamps. And I'll add a couple of other designs. So these are just um, hand-drawn doodles out of my old journals that I have had for what feels like a million and one years. Um, and I'm going to use a different design now. And um, I have redrawn them, pulled ideas from all over the place just to turn into stamps. And I'm looking forward to releasing these ones again soon in bigger designs. No, knowing when to stop is important. Done, done. And this one's my favourite. Okay. 
Okay, good, good. So before I do my next step, I'm going to grab a black pen and I'm just going to draw some of this down, extend that line. This is just like a Sharpie, it's a permanent black. And the cool thing about these little designs is, you know, you can build on, it's not difficult. Essentially, they're just little love hearts. Now we've got those leaves oh sorry those leaves that go all the way across the bottom and they're all connected they all need to be connected to the base so even this little one here I've made sure is connected to the bottom of my page and it's not floating around all right what else do we want to add maybe I might add get these babies out of the way Heaven forbid I put something away. Um, I think that, oh, earlier today, I've done a lot of lines, a lot of, um, a lot of lines. So I really don't want to add too many other loose images. Um, what else have I got floating around in my desk here? Oh, I've got this um, art by Marlene Alphabet again. Let's see if I can add a little bit of interest with that. So I'm just using it as a, a loose design and it's just going to sit over the top here. And I'm doing off stamping. So what that means is I'm stamping it really good first and then I'm wanting to make sure that I get like a, a gradient and it's all just creating creating depth up amongst up around here because in a moment I'm going to add some stamped images so then it's certainly it's not perfect it's like a shadow All right, and stop. Needs a few white splatters because I've only got white here. So I might add a little bit of a, like a loose wash of white splatter. So I'm going to take some, I'm actually gonna do it with white gesso. I'm not going to do it with paint. I wanna do it with gesso because it's gonna dry better. Um, this is Liquitex gesso. This is the good stuff this is the nice stuff like the really nice stuff okay so if you're wanting to purchase something properly the first time as we like to say then this is the good stuff so now I've just got a wet paintbrush and I'm just rolling my wet paintbrush into here and I'm going to add a tap like that and it's just putting on a really nice thin dot so when you're tapping you can see that I'm just tapping with my finger I'm just doing that movement it's not a wrist flick if you're flicking your wrist you end up with um, like lines and we don't want lines and that's all I want I want a really fine splatter and it even shows up on the yellow I'm going to wipe that up because I will stick my hand in it. So I'm very good at that. Righty O. While that's drying, um, I'm going to. I've already stamped and partially cut out a couple of the new paper rose stamps these uh i believe were only released linda you'll be able to tell me <laughs> um a couple of days ago 
Well, I have got them here now because Jessica raced up the hill to Paper Rose and picked them up this morning. So I have stamped a couple and just stamped them in, uh, just on, I don't know, some random white cardstock floating around. And this is the one that I think Louise cut out before. I said I would finish it off for her. Um, fussy cutting is not Louise's superpower. Netball is. Um, so I have stamped it in black using my stamp press and cut them out. So there are, there's quite a few different butterfly designs. So you'll notice them all up on the website. I don't know what the name of this one is called. And I usually just cut the antennas off because I don't never have the patience. But this time I'm going to loosely. Oh God, I'm terrible at it. But they're really, really pretty. So the new papers that just came out. Hello, Jackie. The new papers that just came out with Paper Rose are only two days ago and these new butterflies. They are all available online and the new papers are possibly even on special today. All right. Hey? You did what? Oh, she put them on special. They are brand new. You know. In for a bargain. Merry Christmas, that's it. Um, <laughs> why not? I don't have a use for them. You may as well buy them. So, yes, all of the brand new paper rows. The beautiful, beautiful unicorn paper is all on special. All right, sorry, I'm just fluffing around with this. It's these. This is why I cut the antennas off normally because... Oh, stuff that that'll do. No, can't get that last bit out. Oh man, that'll do. Okay. So, while I've been fluffing around with that, my gesso has dried. And I'm going to pop these little butterflies on. Now, I, I don't want to do much more to this page. Naturally, I have to have three because it's balanced. But what I am going to add is I did promise myself that I would use one of these sticky quotes on every project that I'm doing. So I need to add something. So let's find... Count your rainbows, not your thunderstorms. That could work. Journaling should not be limited to your desk. I like that. So I could use that. Or did you guys see that I released a new stamp set that is quite controversial? Um, very controversial. Sorry, I'm just going to mute that message on my screen. There we go. My, I bought out a, a stamp set called Super Sweary Stamps. So if you are sensitive to naughty words, look away now because this is the unedited version and this is a stamp set that includes all of these stamps but they have some controversial words in there. So I've shown it long enough. But um, sometimes you just need a naughty word on your page, on your project. So... I'm going to put a little phrase on, but I'm, not, I'm going to use, I'm not going to use it as a focus. I am going to use it as a, a background. So I'll put that one on in a second. Um, but I'm just having a look here to see what I can find. Need something a bit cheeky. Um, 
But an art journal page definitely needs words. Words, words, words. Um, all right. So this one here says, and I'll bring it up. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say it, but it's a word that I've said a bit live on Facebook. So it's not one of the extreme words. Um, Jackie, it's essentials. It's an essential sticker book by uh, by Marlene. Um, I do believe there's a couple left online. If not, um, I will be doing an order. So these are uh, these little phrase will be going, and I'm off stamping. So you won't, you can't really read it, but they actually look like just simple words, but it will be going in underneath where my butterfly goes and I'm just off stamping each time so that it, you can see what it says, but it gets lighter and lighter and lighter and I'll bring it up to camera. There you go. I actually do poop rainbows. So now I'm gonna stick that on. So the Art by Marlene Sticky Multi Glue is going to be the glue of choice here. And I'm even going to stick down my antenna because this is going in my art journal. And I'm not going to colour my butterflies. I didn't want to. lovely fine glue This little sticker sheet is perfect for the phrase that I've written in the background here, which says, I, and it's like a, I could piece it together, am, awesome. no, I, well I am awesome, but thanks Lou, I'll take that, but I am cooler than sliced bread? Well, yeah, that's obvious. Then... Unicorns? Then unicorns? Well, yeah. I... Look! And I'm so much funnier in real life. Oh my gosh. Alright, so what I want to do is I'm going to frame this little phrase and do a little bit of doodling now and make this page my own. Righty o. So, just to summarise, I am happy with that page. It is a art journal page. It's actually two pages, and I'm going to separate them. Peel off the tape. And then this will slide nicely into my art journal, which is right here. It doesn't matter where it goes in the journal, but let's stick it here. So this is the Art by Marlene art journal. So I didn't want to colour my butterflies. I wanted them to have that pop of, I didn't peel the back of that tape off, pop of white and black. Thank you, Cheryl. Cheryl thinks my rainbows look awesome. Um, <laughs> all right, there we go, there we go, there we go. So we have got a double art journal page in the Art by Marlene art journal. 
we have used the new individual tubes of her acrylic paints and we have these out on special this weekend for $7.50 a tube instead of $9.30. Uh, they come in 24 different colours that we have available online. Uh, they are very, very awesome. Uh, the Hang on a minute. You can also purchase them in a set. Um, the sets look like this. And you have seen me do a, a live Facebook swatching previously. And they have got that fine nozzle that will allow you to draw. So love that. So I've just painted that on my background. Um, we used the gel plate and my scribble stencil. This fabulous little number here, which is my handwriting, to use as a stamp to create this white background here. And then we used the gridlock mesh, which is this fabulous little number here to create this background here. And we also stamped with it, which was really cool. So that created this really nice, oh gosh, it's heavy. This really nice image here, okay? We used my brand new leaves, stamps, hand drawn leaves. Let me just show you what they look like, which are these guys here and uh, stamped across the bottom. Um, my sweary words, which look like these with all the naughty words on them uh, to do a little bit of stamping as well as an Art by Marlene stamp in the background and the brand new Paper Rose Butterfly, which I stamped and stuck on here with some words. There you go, nailed it. I hope you are all having a wonderful Friday. Thank you very much for joining me on the three live Facebooks today that, uh, that we have done. I've had an absolute ball. Um, up until the end of the day, you will be able to get 15% off of papers, alcohol inks and washi tape. Oh, I still, I forgot to put washi tape on. I was going to do that. Uh, washi tape as well. That is on special. 15% off. There's a massive clearance section where you will find a minimum of 30% off of a lot of products, including one-off items um, that we've just got one left and it's just taken up space on the shelf. So just buy it. Just, just buy it. That's all you need to do. Uh, we've got some fantastic bundles available and there is a daily prize draw as well uh, for anyone who places an order today. And the no judgment postage. So what that means is that the postage is not free, but you only pay $12.50 once. And every order after that, what we do is you just select no judgment at the checkout. And then you can build your orders for the weekend because tomorrow's special is gonna be fabulous and you know you're gonna want it. There you go. So jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Um, I am knocking off for the day in about 10 minutes time. If you have any questions and they will be going unanswered until tomorrow, uh, as I am going out tonight and attempting to have a social life, um, away from work. Cause I know, isn't that a concept? Uh, jump online to the Natalie May scrapbooking creative community. We are a bunch of fabulous people and you need to get on there, share your work, check out what everybody else is creating and go in the chance to win a $25 voucher to the online store every month. So got to be in it to win it, guys. Uh, so I hope you're all having a wonderful Friday. I look forward to seeing you at 9am tomorrow morning for a morning coffee and a chat and tell you all about the specials of the day and then three live Facebooks tomorrow. Have a lovely evening and I will chat to you all soon. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, wear a mask, do the things, chat soon.